guys, what's up? This is Shubhi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing great. So I just want to quickly share one thing with you guys that today's video is going to be in both Hindi and English because I've been getting a few requests from my Indian audience asking to include Hindi and why not? So let's see how it goes. Just bear with me. I'll try to balance both. But before I begin, please take a moment to hit like, share and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I'm posting my upcoming videos. And now let's start. Okay, let's start. So today's video is going to be about 10 things which you should know before coming to Singapore. Which 10 things you should know before coming to Singapore? Singapore aane se pehle. Number one is language. So there are four official languages which are English, Malay, Mandarin and Tamil and there is one unofficial language which is Singlish and guys, it's super amazing you must know about it in the beginning you might find it little difficult to understand but once you get a hang of it you don't have to worry about it so if you are interested to know more about singlish then i have already discussed it in one of my previous videos so i am going to put the link in the description box below and you can check it out next up is sunscreen so guys this country is extremely close to equator and it is hot and humid it is an island at the end of the day right so you have to wear sunscreen never skip it bahut garmi hai yahan pe so kabhi bhi sunscreen lagana mat bhuliyega and i am telling this to you from my personal experience because i've had severe sunburns whenever i skipped it so it's your best friend rains singapore rains all the time okay if not all then at least 200 out of 365 days and come on man it's not less matlab saal bhar mein 200 din barish hona mazak hai kya Clearly, I don't like rain, but always carry an umbrella whenever you are going out because it's a must here. Singapore has ensured that your daily operations and plans doesn't get affected or interrupted by these rains. So what they have done is they have created a very good infrastructure in the entire Singapore, which has like all sort of sheds and everything, so you are covered. And if you are going out generally and even for a party, then either you don't wear fancy shoes at all, or if you are wearing, then always, always carry an extra pair of shoes because your fancy and expensive ones are definitely going to get spoiled. because it rains any time here randomly and i'm telling this to you from my personal experience so hashtag #abbt and i can go on and on and rant about the rain but let's move on so the next thing which i want you guys to know about is chewing gum chewing gum is banned in singapore no i'm not kidding it's not new it's been banned since 1992 so na hi aap chewing gum kha sakte hain singapore mein na hi bech sakte hain aur na hi khareed sakte hain agar aap market mein bhi jayenge to aapko chewing gum nahi milega yahan pe so basically you cannot eat buy or sell chewing gums in singapore and even if you manage to get chewing gums into singapore then there is a hefty fine which is not less guys so you better avoid it aisa kyu karna hai right next up is alcohol it is very expensive in singapore you guys so all you party people out there it's definitely going to make a hole in your pocket and and you will know why i am saying this once you get your check on your party table and singapore has a great nightlife so if you are someone who enjoys a few drinks sometimes when you are out then it's fine otherwise if you are regular you can also try happy hours which can save you up some bucks so jaisa ki maine bataya ki alcohol bahut expensive hai singapore mein aur agar aap unme se hain jo alcohol bahut enjoy karte hain to agar aap tourist hain then i would suggest you ki aap jis hotel mein ruke hain wahan pe normally yahan pe hotels jo hain wo lounge access dete hain उसमें हैप्पी आवर्स चलता है सो यू कैन हैव योर ड्रिंक्स एट योर होटल एंड देन गो आउट एंड पार्टी और वट यू वांट टू डू ठीक है आप बाहर जाके फिर अपना पार्टी कर सकते हैं बट फॉर टूरिस्ट आई वुड रिकमेंड दैट यूज योर होटल लाउंज एक्सेस विच आल्सो प्रोवाइड्स हैप्पी आवर्स सो यू कैन ड्रिंक एंड देन go out and have fun and for other folks who are not tourist and who are looking to save up some more money then for you guys i would suggest that drink at home take a cab go out and party in clarkie or marina or wherever you want to do because i've seen a lot of people doing this and saving a lot of money so you can also give it a try and coming to cabs drink driving is not at all allowed in singapore so you have to take cab coming to smoking it is not banned I can see all these smoke lovers eyes rolling up and thinking that she's saying everything is banned in Singapore it's not the case but the smoking rules are very strict here so you cannot just stand anywhere and smoke and get away with it okay so you have to smoke only in these smoking designated smoking zones and you have to watch out for the boards where it says no smoking zones you cannot stand there because there are cameras everywhere so you have to be very very careful and watch for these things but before i move on to the next i just want to quickly share one thing with you guys uh, see i know smoking is a personal choice and i completely respect it but uh, as we all know that smoking is extremely injurious to health any kind kind of smoking and uh, while you are smoking you might tend to uh, get relief from some sort of stress but that's temporary and uh, i just want to address this thing here it might 
be little off topic but just think about the long term effects on your health as well as the stress it's going to create on your family member okay so about party ki baat ho gayi now let's talk about the work culture in singapore so guys the work culture is hectic here i would not lie but having said that it also depends on the company you work for so it's not standard in all the companies it depends definitely but overall it is hectic and i don't mean to scare you it's just that it is a hard working country and you just have to pull up your socks and just get going and it is rewarding so don't be scared so next thing which i want you guys to know about singapore is that it is a tiny island it's close to the size of mumbai so aapko kabhi kabhi lag sakta hai ki yahan pe bahut zyada kuch karne ko nahi hai after covering all the touristy stuff but that's not true there are many hidden gems which we all are still exploring despite of the fact that we have been here in singapore for such a long time so we have now enough time to explore within singapore and it is turning out to be beautiful and besides that the best part are the options available to travel from singapore to many other the countries they are very cheap and convenient and i have to admit that traveling from singapore is a blessing i mean you will never get bored you have so many options to go even if you get bored in singapore you can just book a ticket which is very pocket friendly and you know you can just take a flight and go to many nearby countries or otherwise and i also want to highlight the public transport here which is amazing and very convenient so you don't have to worry at all about commuting within singapore also and there are many other amazing apps available which will help you guide to take the right route so it's all covered and you have plenty of options available to commute within singapore you have buses trains cabs and you must be thinking that why am i not talking about the cars because i have already spoken about the cars in my other video and i'm going to put the link of that video in the description box below so basically yahan pe public transport bahut acha hai aapko koi bhi problem nahi aayegi now let's talk about the crime rates in singapore guys singapore is an extremely safe country i must say and the crime rate is definitely much much lesser than the other countries i am telling this from my personal experience aapko bilkul dar nahi lagega chahe aap रात में भी लेट नाइट भी कहीं बाहर जा रहे हैं यू विल नॉट फील अनसेफ एट ऑल एंड इंटरेस्टिंगली यू डोंट हैव टू वरी अ लॉट अबाउट बिलोंगिंग्स हियर यू नो पीपल कीप देयर वॉलेट्स टू रिजर्व द टेबल तो ऐसा नहीं है कि आपने कुछ सामान टेबल पे रखा और वो गायब हो जाएगा बट आई एम नॉट सेइंग दैट डोंट बी केयरफुल अबाउट योर बिलोंगिंग्स ऑफकोर्स यू हैव टू बट इवन इफ इन केस यू लूज फोकस ऑन योर बिलोंगिंग्स सो आई वुड से मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम्स इट डजन गो मिस प्लेस so that's the beauty of this country so it's pretty much very safe and secured and what i've experienced so far is that people are very ethical here so i would not say ki crime hota hi nahi hoga but uh, it is extremely less i would say so the last but not the least are the reservations people love going out here to eat and spend time with their families so whenever you plan to go out make sure to reserve a spot for yourself and your family and friends uh, well in advance because places here are supremely packed especially on the weekends so better get your reservation done if you don't want to stand in lines or search for different places to have a comfortable experience so yahan pe reservation karana important rehta hai preferably so aapko us cheez ka khayal yahan pe rakhna padega especially agar aap aisi countries se aa rahe hain jahan pe reservations ka itna issue nahi hota hai and along with that i'd like to recommend one more thing that if you are in singapore then you must try going to those rooftop bars and restaurants to get the actual sense uh, of singapore you know the beauty of singapore you can actually um see the entire city from those places and it's beautiful so you definitely should try that and those restaurants may be on the little pricey side but the experience is worth the money and if you can afford then i will highly recommend you to give it a try for sure you will not regret it so with that it's a wrap for this video guys i hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and let me know in the comments below if you have any suggestions or if you have any questions regarding singapore or otherwise also i'll be happy to answer those and if you want to know more about me then i keep posting bits of my life on instagram so you can follow me on that and also if you are enjoying my videos and if they can be of any help then please do like share and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you will be notified for the upcoming videos and i will see you soon in my next video bye